one man's warning for pet owners. He says his dog died within hours of swimming in an Escambia County Creek. Hannah McKenzie is live now with more details. Hannah? So this is the creek we are talking about. This is 11 Mile Creek. Now we've heard instances across the country of dogs dying after being exposed to blue green algae, but this is the first time we're hearing of a similar case here in Northwest Florida. One minute she was fetching a stick from 11 Mile Creek. The next come on, let daddy help you. Bernie was having trouble walking. Come on. Her face began to droop and Glenn Flowers rushed her to the vet. The vet said in all his 20 years of being a veterinarian, he's never in his life seen a dog been systematically shut down like this. Within hours of this trip to the creek, the nine year old Doberman was dead. She died doing what she loved to do the most. I mean, she literally died moments after coming out of the water. Um, and that's just not natural. Flowers did some digging, then some investigating with his drone. This footage capturing what he says is massive amounts of algae blooms, not far from where Bernie was playing on Thursday. They have a culprit sitting right here. This isn't the first dog he says he's lost to this creek. In 2014, his Doberman Duke also died within hours of swimming here. The vet said it was congestive heart failure, so we wrote it off as that. Didn't think much about it. But now he is thinking. How many other dogs have been misdiagnosed? And he's not the only one sounding the alarm. Flowers says he's been contacted by at least five people with similar stories. One lady just last night, just south of here, um, in another part that dumps into, 11 mile dumps into. But same thing, she had a perfectly healthy Labrador retriever, and they were out playing by the water, and within minutes in the water, it just collapsed took him to the vet and you know it didn't make it by going public. He hopes to warn others about what could be lurking in this water. I just want some awareness, you know, some signs posted, you know, some get some scientists in here. I did reach out to the county to find out more information. They tell me it's not up to them to put out water advisory notices. That's up to the Florida Department of Health. They did, though, tell me that they are conducting supplementary water testing. They just haven't gotten any of those results back yet. I also reached out to the Department of Environmental Protection, and they told me they had a crew down here on Monday taking some water samples from the creek, and they hope to get those results in by the end of the week. So, of course, we will keep you updated on this developing story. Reporting live in Escambia County, Hannah McKenzie, Channel 3 News.